Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy King James here. If you've been following along on the channel, I've been doing a lot of SMG reviews lately. I did the PPSH, the AK-47U, I just did the Modern Warfare MP5, and now I'm gonna do the OTS-9, and later the new L uh, SMG, the Lapa. So we're gonna find out whether any of these guns are any good, and eventually I'm gonna do, hopefully next week, a overall shootout video of all the SMGs to see if I can figure out which one is best. And there may be a couple categories for best, close and you know, like a mid long range SMG, whatever. So we'll figure that out when we get there. But for right now, I want to talk about the OTS-9. It's been a favorite of mine for a long time. I like using it. When it came out, it was pretty good and then they buffed it a bunch and it became so good that they actually nerfed it. But it's still really good. And how good is it? Well, let's find out. Landed on top. Oh crap. Getting out of there. Guys on Kalo car. I killed a whole bunch of them. I died. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so what makes this gun so good? Well, it's the second best time to kill up close other than Modern Warfare MP5. And if you look, it sort of follows the Modern Warfare MP5 everywhere, just being slightly worse. And it was pointed out to me by Gustavo Fring. If you know who that is, you don't want to mess with him. He said the CX-9 was missing. So I've added it in here, yes, sir. Uh, and as you can see, it's pretty damn good. After 10 meters right out to 33, this thing really hits. So we're definitely going to add this into the shootout. Um, and then I also have the AK-74U and the PPSH in here because I've already covered those. But if the OTS-9 is a little worse than the MP5, why is it on this list and why do I think it's so good? Well, there's a couple other things you need to know about it. It has one of the best RPMs out of all of the other guns. It's pretty close to the PPSH, but it's less than the CX-9. But its movement speed is top tier. With the task force and all of the attachments, you get the highest movement speed out of these guns. I'm not sure if there's another gun in the game that moves faster than this. There might be some of those fringe ones that are not really, you know, viable. But in terms of the viable guns, it really has the highest movement speed. And you can use the fast mag with no ADS penalty. It's one of the very few guns in the SMG category that has this. So you get a 1.68 second reload speed. It's second only to the first, followed only by the PPSH, which is 198 with that 71 round drum. So also a good combo. But for that ultimate reload speed, man, the OTS-9 has it in spades. But how does it work in actual practice? Well, let me show you some gameplay. And this is what I'm talking about. So here's that range. Even though it doesn't have that great range, was that longer kill closer than that up close one? I don't know, they both felt about the same to me. So it's definitely working at range. And all that ability to move definitely works right there. And that's one thing I really like about this gun is the insane movement on it. You can jump and run and move around and make yourself hard to hit with this gun, like a lot. It's really good for that. So if you really like to bunny hop and move and you wanna try and make it so that you're you know, not as easy a target to hit up close, the OTS-9 is really great for that. It has lots of up-close killing power and lots of uh, movement speed and a really fast reload speed that stops you from sort of getting caught when you have multiple guys on you. You know, the 40-round mag isn't a lot for quads, but with a 1.68 reload uh, speed, man, that thing is really solid. And with the AK-47, I've been using this loadout for zombies um, for the Halloween event. I've been using it for, you know, rebirth, and it seems to be really solid. And check this guy out. He RPG'd me. I used all that movement speed to get around and get the kill so he's not going to win with an rpg because he just can't move as fast as i can with that and that's the thing about this gun is that super high movement speed coupled with that really good ttk up close and the fast reload it's amazing so i'm going to do a quick test on the recoil so i'm just going to do an uncontrolled shot and see what it looks like so it's quite a bit of vertical. If I run up here and have a look, you can see it's a pretty straight line, but there's not a lot of horizontal where it's back and forth. And then let's try a controlled shot. So I'll just aim right here. And you can see I can get a pretty good bead, keeping them all nice and together. So the recoil in this gun, while it has some vertical, it doesn't have much horizontal and getting a nice tight cluster, even at 15 meters, it's pretty easy on this gun. 
So as I said, I've been carrying the OTS-9 with the AK-47. It's a really great combo. I also use it in the Haunting, the Halloween event. So if you watch that video, it's the same loadout here and it works amazing on Rebirth and it's a great SMG all around that you should be checking out. I mean, let me show you my build, but just before I do that, I wanna say thank you to everybody who's recently subbed to the channel and is here watching my videos. I really appreciate all that love and support, so thank you guys. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, consider subscribing because it really helps small content creators like myself. All right, let me show you my build. So I'm just starting out with a regular OTS-9. I have Dark Matter on it, but other than that, it's just the base gun. Now, there's a couple of things I've changed on this versus some other SMGs. Let me walk you through it. So what hasn't changed is the Groove Suppressor, uh, Sound Suppression, Vertical Recoil Control, Bullet Velocity, and Effective Damage Range. And it's really good pairing with a Task Force Barrel because it also gives you more effective damage range, Bullet Velocity, and Strafe Speed, which is movement. And that's really what helps make you unhittable. Now, I used to use the Tiger T Team Spotlight because it gives you a really good speed bump and movement. But this gun already has really high movement speed. So I sort of got rid of that and went with the Serpent Wrap to get even better ADS times. This makes the gun feel really snappy when you go to ADS. So if you hip fire the gun, run with the Tiger Team. If you don't hip fire, grab the Serpent Wrap. I'm telling you, it makes the, the ADS in this gun really fast and it feels really good. Now for even more speed, the KGB Skeletal Stock because it gives you sprint to fire, which is super important. That's the length of time from running to shooting. You want that to be low. And it gives you some other movement speeds for ADS and aim walking. And last but not least, definitely going with the VDD 40 round fast mag. I've already proved this one out. It gives you a much faster reload with no ADS penalty. Even though it says there's an ADS penalty on here, there actually isn't one. And guys, I'm telling you, this gun like this is an absolute monster. It has a crazy fast reload speed. It has a really good time to kill and awesome movement speed. I'm telling you, I've had really good games with this. And when I challenge guys up close, I can get right up in their faces and feel really confident when I'm using the OTS-9. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you been using the OTS-9 or have you tried out some of the other SMGs that I've uh, recommended? The OTS-9 is definitely good. If you like to play aggressive, you like to play close, and you want to get right up in guys' faces, the OTS-9 is amazing for that. Yeah, it doesn't have the time to kill that the Modern Warfare MP5 has, but it has more movement speed, that crazy fast reload, and it has the second best TTK in the game for the viable guns, just slightly slower than the Modern Warfare MP5. So it definitely warrants a try. And I really liked using it. And I could give up some of that TTK for that uh, extras that you get with the movement speed and the reload speed. So definitely worth it for that. Um, I got a lot of other videos coming out this week, so make sure that you're subbed to the channel and you got notifications on because I'm going to do a roundup of all the SMGs. Um, I have one more I'm going to try, which is the Lapa, and to, uh, you know, bite on J-God's styles a little bit, we're going to find out is the Lapa a Clapa or is it Scrappa, you know? And if you know a good uh, rhyme for the Lapa being okay, uh, you know, you got something better than that, hit me up in the comment section down below. I'd love to have a better rhyme for something being average or okay. Anyways, guys, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Got lots more content coming up and gonna have uh, that so anyways if you don't see me in warzone if you don't see me in multiplayer it's only a matter of time baby king james out